I'm in Paso Robles and Melissa's taking me wine tasting. That's what we're, we do here. <laughs> every time I come to Paso Robles, we wind up wine tasting. Oh, bummer. Oh, bummer. All be like. <laughs> I'll drink to the rhythm of the That works too. Yeah. Very fluid, right? I think the first video I took, the one I just took, I didn't push record. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tooth and nail. There's their cool leather wine menu. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Castle and um, I can't see myself. Castle. You turn, I thought you could turn, oh, you can't turn. My phone won't turn around. So. While you're recording? No, I thought you could do that. Yeah, you can. What? what are you doing on my. No, you can't do it. What? Are you recording right now? Yeah. Oh. That way I know how to do it, but I thought I, I know other you people. You can't do it phones, while you're recording. I know people whose phones will flip while they're recording. Um, Maybe it's like a Snapchat thing or an Instagram thing. I don't know how to do any of those things. I'm not social media savvy. Sorry. I would rather spend my time drinking wine than worrying about social media problems. I'm just recording. It's a video diary of my life experience. I think you win. <laughs> he was like... Okay, I'm about to drink this. Give me the pitch for this one again. Yeah, yeah, so this is our Tempranillo. Um, it's like licking old world Spain. And Why is that appetizing? Ooh, um, you just gotta understand that history there. You gotta get it on your palate. And just be, now be the wine. And the nose, you said the nose was what? Um, the nose is more of like peppered pastrami, a little bit of chocolate covered sugar plum, espresso, some coffee. But that's not Spain. Peppered pastrami is... That's Italy, yeah. That's Italy. Very culturally diverse here in this Tempranillo. You gotta come with the like... I go licking. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give that one a shot. Counter? I got a counter. Okay. We'll reset the shot. <laughs> Peppered pastrami. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, yeah. It's not how I imagine Spain tasting. <laughs> it's not like licking Spain. That like some of that went down the wrong pipe. How that went in your head? Why did the Sp Spanish go down the wrong pipe? <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a were, joke. They were looking for the West Indies. <laughs> Oh, wait, Portugal. Oh, damn it, I'm losing my sense of I think you should work on that for stand-up. <laughs> that requires some editing. <laughs> Maybe you should consult a history teacher. I don't know how many people would find wine tasting relatable. How is wine tasting? Oh, I think they all can. Yeah. Have you looked at the statistics on, like, wine tasting and wine sales? No. It's big with the 21 to, like... 30 year old crowd. Wait, are you quoting millennials without saying millennials? Maybe. <laughs> you can say millennials. My son's a millennial. Oh, a lot of them are millennials and don't even know it. <laughs> they don't even fit into the age range, but they're still millennials. It's by age definition, by birth definition, and by behavior definition. Okay, we can't get into a millennial argument while we're wine tasting. Oh. That seems unfair. No, it's always fair. All things are fair. I just licked Spain. <laughs> you just licked Spain with a funny look on your face. I wonder how many people have licking experiences with that same look on their face. <laughs> just general licking experiences or involving Spain? Well, I'm involving whatever. All right, we're going to cut that. <laughs>